Hey everybody and welcome, thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me. Uh, we're going to rank some mascots here. Now I have ranked the NHL mascots before, I have not done any other league out there, but this was a request from uh, a long time Patreon subscriber and a long time um, Discord moderator for us, uh, Nora. She's actually been with us for a while and she's done a real good job and she said uh, it would be cool if you, if you could look take a look at some SM Liga mascots. So she did the work and found the pictures for me and uh, she's over there in Finland. So uh, I, I couldn't say no uh, after seeing just a few of these photos. I could not say no to this video and I, I had to do it because some of these are, I mean, no offense, a, a little comical. So uh, there's 13 mascots here. I've ranked them 1 to 13. I'm going to go through them 13 to 1 like I always do, least favorite to favorite. And uh, I think you guys are going to get a kick out of some of these. They're some are pretty questionable. Some are some are actually pretty nice, but some are definitely questionable. Okay, I'm not even gonna pronounce uh, or try and pronounce half of these names, but uh, this first one, let's just bring it up real quick. It's from the team Karpat, maybe. I guess I'll try and pronounce a few, but I mean, this is <laughs> what's going on here. Okay, obviously this is a gorilla, and. Uh, I mean, there's there's hockey elements in here. I guess he's got a hockey helmet on from probably 1955, uh, back when they f or when it's early 60s or whenever when the first helmets first came out or whatever. Obviously, they weren't wearing them in the in the NHL, but that helmet looks at 60 years old or something. Painted uh, the team colors, I believe. And this just <laughs> look at his hand. He looks like looks like this gorilla was wearing. A watch all day and took it off is is it's all matted here obviously that's where the glove the gorilla glove goes in but number one this is creepy number two this is a very cheap costume i think look at the look at the belly button <laughs> look at the belly button it looks like a butthole that's weird okay um i could not rank this any higher than last this is just it's creepy and the chin strap goes on as like his teeth it's not even down by his chin, chin. It's just this is weird. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> at least we have an animal here that's a, a little. I was gonna say relatable. You just can't really relate to a bunny, but it's a. You can kind of feel like this should be a mascot. It's a bunny or it's a rabbit, whatever. However, he looks extremely high. He is intoxicated or something. And he's got, you know, he's grown a playoff beard. He's pretty, pretty fluffy right there. Not a typical rabbit fluff, but like it's, it's going pretty good. He's, he's approaching Santa Claus rabbit here. But what's really interesting about this costume is the hands. Apparently, this intoxicated rabbit or bunny is a coal miner because he's got charcoal or, or black paint all over his hand. And it's not even on there thick. It's just like a little dusting like you could see from a coal mine or something. But then this part of his hand. And it's not painted at all. It's it's not a great costume. However, at least there's a hockey jersey on here. So I have to give up some points. Uh, next is... <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. He's wearing hockey pants. He's wearing a hockey jersey. It, it looks like a typical mascot. That That's awesome. But just the expression on his face, he just looks like he was caught doing something. Like, oh, I was pooping. Don't look. Or like, he just looks like he was caught doing something that he shouldn't be doing in public or something like that. So just the expression on the, on the face, I couldn't rank this any higher. Okay, in 10th, uh, the TPS, I I mean, it's not a bad mascot. He's wearing hockey pants, he's wearing the, the hockey jersey, but it's just such a typical mascot. And it's not interesting, it's not really unique. It's just a bear, right? So uh, for that reason, it's that position. Cuckoo, next, number nine. Uh, awesome that he's got the jersey on, but he, he's looking real like a like a low class Tony the Tiger, I guess, or something. To eat. Like the pants, I'm okay with, I guess. The gloves are fine. Everything matches, which is awesome. But that that headpiece looks pretty looks pretty cheap. Um, but again, not too bad. Number eight, <laughs> this guy must be related to Yupi, the Montreal Canadiens mascot. He looks he looks like a pinata or something. Something you could hit with a stick to get candy. Uh, and he looks he looks questionable like he has a criminal history of doing some maybe naughty things so i actually don't want to look at this guy anymore he really creeps me out uh and seventh <laughs> this guy i mean the head is awesome props to the head he's got the jersey that actually has no arms it's more like a muscle shirt or something 
But he's got no pants on. <laughs> like, he's got, he's got no pants on, guys. He's got awesome shoes. Clearly, he's a Viking of some kind. It's not too bad. It's just the fact that he's his skirt or his whatever is, like, it's pretty high. I don't want to catch a glimpse of, of a knob or something. Okay, six, the Pelicans one. It's it's not too bad. It's awesome that he's wearing a jersey. He's got this, a scarf on. The, the actual head of it actually matches the logo itself, so it's pretty cool, but just the expression on the face is just like, oh, I don't want to stay home. I need some bread and milk, but it's closed. All the stores are closed. Just like, this guy is always upset or always angry about something. Uh, number five... I like the hockey helmet. It, it Again, it looks a little cheesy. It looks a little old, but at least it's on there. It's a typical mascot. He's got the jersey on. Not too bad. I don't know what's going on here. He's got kind of a double chin thing going on. I think that maybe should be tucked down into the uh, jersey, but a typical mascot. Number four, I mean, if you look at the logo on the jersey, it, the head is pretty close. He's... He, he, He's been eating some cheeseburgers though. He's got he's got a he's got a cheeseburger factory there uh, down below. He's he's pretty thick. Um, the mask itself or the head is not great. Like the teeth, you can tell is thread or something. It looks like it's threaded. The eye just looks like it was glued on. Um, I feel like I could make this mascot if you gave me the materials, and that's not very good. So, uh, he, with all that said, it matches the logo. Kind of kid friendly. I mean, there's a little kid getting your picture taken with him. So, I mean, I have to give props where props are due. Number three, the Kalpa one. The colors match completely. Um, I don't know if the, the relation of this rooster or whatever it is to the team. Um, again, this is not an educational video, but whatever. It still looks okay. It, it, the colors match with the red um, in the logo and then the red on the, the head and um, the yellow obviously matches. He's wearing hockey gloves, which match the black in the logo and the jersey. I mean, it looks pretty good. Number two, I've got the temp tempera, temp tamperine. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. Uh, but look at the mask and then look at the logo. They're almost identical, which is fantastic. I mean, that is not a good drawing or it's not a good logo in general. It looks questionable. However, how close they got it to the actual logo is Pretty fantastic here, and it matches the colors. He's got a tail. He's got hockey pants on, a jersey. I mean, really, well done. And first overall, uh, the Eucharist, I think it's pronounced. I mean, this guy's this guy's awesome. He's he's a Viking. He's got a, a big Viking helmet. He's got a jersey on. It all the colors match. He's got a friendly expression. So, I mean, there's no question that this was going to be my number one from just looking at these photos really quickly uh, when I first made, uh, when I first uh, got these from Nota. But, I mean, as much as I was making fun of these, awesome that they have these in this league. Some leagues just don't have mascots, which is fine. But uh, good on uh, a Finnish league here for putting out some mascots. And I, I know you can't really see it because the logo sits really low, but I got my a Finnish jersey on here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun to look at leagues outside of the NHL and North America, really in general. So cool that I got a, a chance to, to take a peek at some, some Finnish hockey stuff. Uh, if you guys want to see me rank some more mascots in the future, please let me know down below in the comment section and tell me which league I should do next. I, 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 there's literally thousands of leagues that I could probably do of mascots, but uh, leave me your feedback down below. Let me know. Hope you're having an awesome day. If you could hit the subscribe button, that would be awesome. That really helps me. Hit the like button too, share it around. And uh, yeah, thanks, thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next one. Adios.